guys, my name is Victoria Pavlov. I'm the Photoshop artist. Welcome to my studio. Today we will create something uh, unique. We never did it before and we will be using a few new features in Adobe Dimension. Let's start. As you can see, I have opened my Adobe Dimension and now I will click on create new to create a new document. You can click on these three dots to specify your um, document size. So as you can see, um, you can create a custom uh, size for your document directly from a welcome screen. I will click on cancel and I will click create new. And voila, Dimension creates a new document for us. I will not um, I will not change anything in this document. We will do it later on. Now, I will click on the first model I would like to work with today. Um, I will click on uh, this beverage uh, can a model from starter assets library, just like this and voila. Guys, did you notice we have something strange? We have the new tool. Yes, guys, I love this tool. It's a new universal tool. Now you can scale your object. You can rotate your object. You can move your ab object using the same tool. If you would like, you can switch between uh, all tools. But I, uh, I love this uh, one universal tool. First of all, I will scale uh, size up for my can, just like this. And I'm good for now. Now I would like to add another model. I will click on food can and voila. Using same universal tool, I will bring it up front. Um, let me scale it up just like this and maybe I will move it on a distance. Yes, behind my first beverage um, can model, just like this. And now I will click on a food bag model from the same starter assets library. I will bring it up front. I will rotate it using same universal tool, just like that. And I will move it on distance behind this um, beverage can just like this. Look at this. Guys, using only one tool, we um, scaled our um, uh, models uh, down, we can uh, reposition it, we rotated our um, food bag using only one tool and I love it a lot. Now guys, I will click on default um, image library. And I will click on this table image, just like this. And voila. Definitely now we need to adjust some um, settings. First of all, we need to adjust a horizon line uh, because our objects are right now kind of floating on top of our um, table and perspective or our image is not right. What I will do in actions panel, I will click match image. Guys, I will give you just a few seconds to look closely at a match image panel. What do you see? Do you see, guys, that now we have the new uh, create a lights um, menu? If you will expand it, you will see that right now you can add new options to our lights. You can add abstract light, you can add outdoor sunlight, or you can add multiple lights. How awesome is it? I will click on multiple lights and I will specify that I would like to resize canvas to image aspect ratio and match camera perspective, of course. And I will click OK. And voila, guys, a look at this. How awesome is this? For, um, dimension fixed everything. Dimension fixed our perspective. Dimension placed our object on top of the table in a way as it should be. And also, guys, yeah, I'm so happy. Dimension creates four lights for us. Environment light and uh, directional light. Directional light two. Directional light three and we will talk about all these lights just in a second guys i'm super excited now i would like to add material to my can uh, to my um models um let's switch to uh material um materials um library and here guys we have a lot of uh 
different materials we can work with i love love all default materials and also guys you can create your own custom material using adobe capture uh, i will um scroll my library down and here guys we have substance materials i love these materials because each material is unique and that means that each material has a unique set of properties that generates new texture you can adjust your material in a way you like so uh substance materials has uh, a few extra sliders uh, we can um, use to uh, customize our materials i love it so let me um uh, highlight my uh, beverage can just like this i will click and expand the folder and here I will click on pull a ring because I don't want to change material for my can. I love it. I love default material, but I would like to change a uh, material for pull a ring from my substance materials library. I will click on clean gold material just like this. And guys, look at this. We have extra sliders we can uh, use to adjust our material, but I love default material as it is. Now, let me be back to uh, scene panel and I will click on food can tab. I will expand this folder and I will click on a can. Um, I will add another uh, material to my can let's see what material i would like to add i will add this um, clean gold material just like this look at this how beautiful is it and now guys let's talk about something special something we never did before i will be back to scene panel and here i will highlight my beverage can a tab and I will click on can here guys we have options we can add decal uh, to our um, model we can add uh, basically a label to our uh, model I will switch my starter assets library to creative cloud libraries and here I have my library dimension assets guys here I have my image I created in, uh, I painted from scratch in Adobe Fresco. I have uploaded this video um, on my to my YouTube channel. You can go and uh, preview the entire process. So I painted this image in Adobe Fresco using watercolor uh, brushes. And because it's a November, it's a Thanksgiving time. I uh, would like to create image for Thanksgiving. I would like to create commercial for a uh, food chain, um, for um, this um, uh, um, holiday, for Thanksgiving holiday. So I will click on my pumpkin image and I will drag it on top of my can object and voila. Now in properties panel, I will specify that I would like to place my image um, like fill, not decal, fill and voila. Definitely I can rotate it. I can apply specific. I can adjust my um, label in the way I like. First of all, let me play with roughness. I will move roughness slider somewhere about 37%. And let's see with metallic. Yes, and I will move metallic slider to 53%. A look at this. How beautiful is it? I will do same with um, two other uh, models. I will click on food can tab. I will expand it and I will click on can and I will drag same pumpkin image on top of my model just like this. And I will specify that I would like to fill my model with this image. And I will rotate it slightly on the side to make it more uh, beautiful. And definitely I will move um, metallic slider slide slightly about 48. Look at this. I will do same with food patch um, from my scene panel. Let me scroll down. I will expand food bag. 
I will click on um, my pumpkin image one more time and I will drag it on, uh, on top of my food um, model. And I will specify fill and I will rotate just like that. Did you notice guys that I'm rotating my uh, image uh, in a different way uh, to each uh, model because I would like to um, personalize each uh, packaging. Maybe it's not the right way to do but I love it. Just like this and I will move metallic slider about 40, 53 percent. I love it. So guys, I created this image, this label uh, using Adobe mobile application, Adobe Fresco. I painted this image from scratch using watercolor brushes. But what if I would like to adjust this image? What if I would like to add some um, text to my uh, uh, label? Can I do this? Definitely I can. In the properties panel, I will click on image icon and I will click on edit, edit original and voila. Here I will switch to my text tool and I will create something like, let's see, I will create um, Thanksgiving just like that. I can increase it. I can change color. Example, let's use some um, Thanksgiving color, maybe darker, just like this. I will increase size of my text, just like that. Look at this, something like this. I can add a little bit effect. I will add a stroke, white stroke around Thanksgiving. I will bring size down. And if I want, guys, I can change um, font let's see let's see what font i would yes this font and i will bring size down for my thanksgiving just like this yes and i love it now guys what i will do i will simply save this uh, document and i will close it I will be back to my dimension and a look at this. Dimension will update <clears throat> all my graphics. Look at this and I can rotate it. I can adjust it in a way I like. Look at this. How awesome is it? Now guys, let's talk about our new light. I'm super excited. I will switch to starter assets just like that and I will switch to a light library. Um, I will um, click on environment light and remember guys we used an uh, image for our background and we asked dimension to adjust light and everything based on our um, background image. Uh, I can adjust intensity of our background image just like that. I will make it more or less, um, apply more or less intensity to our um, light. Also, I can change a rotation. But if I will click on directional light, guys, I can apply a new light to my existing light, existing environment light, but it's a new light. So now we have, we can add three more lights to our image. First of all, I would like to change color for my uh, light because I would like to add a few artistic um, art touches to my image. I will click on um, color icon in properties panel and I will change color. Let's use um, blue color for now. Just look at these guys, light blue color. I can change um, intensity of this blue color. Look at this. I can change rotation. Maybe I maybe something like that. Yes, I love it. I can change height of my light and I love this high. It's kind of um, homey, kind of uh, Thanksgiving um, feeling. And also I can change um, 
shape of my uh, light I can use circle or square it's up to me but I prefer circle and I can change um, size of my light and age softness just like this and I love it now I will click on another dire directional light directional light too and I can change color of this light as well let's use some red color just like this um, I can um, change intensity of this uh, light rotation of this light something like this and high of this light of course um, light shape aspect ratio size and age softness but I love it as it is and now I will switch to directional light 3 just like this and I will adjust this light as well I will click and change a lot this light to pink color just like this I will uh, increase intensity of my light I will change rotation just like this I can change high of my light let's see just something like this guys and definitely size and age softness and a look at this guys we have three uh, uh, extra lights we applied to our document using these uh, lights we can create something very unique we can create uh, something um, we can make our um, prog product uh, packaging uh, experience to completely different a uh, level we can add our personal uh, touches extra art touches I love it love it love it so guys now um, you can uh, finish your project or you can continue working on your project um, until you will be satisfied with everything after you're happy with everything simply click on render and voila you will be uh, able to uh, render your uh, project uh, you you can render using a local option or cloud option so guys uh, this is what I wanted to share with you today and again I'm repeating myself uh, the purpose of all my tutorials uh, is I'm sharing my experience with you I'm sharing my creativity with you it's not just a tutorial it's not just um, teaching experience I want to um, show to you how you can use your creativity in another uh, you can how you can bring your creativity to another level and guys from the bottom of my heart I'm super appreciated of all your support and all your help thank you so time for being with me super super appreciated and I will see you later bye guys